Now we've got the controller, routes, and model of the application finished. However, we still need to be able to show all of the information we have created to the user. Fortunately, play templates can be used for that. Let's see how. The first thing we need to learn about play templates is that they are just a Scala file. Each template is very similar to a function. It receives parameters from the controller and it returns some HTML, which will be rendered to the user. Play templates also comes with play template inheritance. For that, every play project comes with a main.scala.html. As you can see, this will be the base HTML for all of our actions template. This one receives a content which is of type HTML parameter. This parameter will be the content of each actions template. Now that we know this, let's create our first template. So let's create the list template. For that, we will be creating this in the views package. And we will call it list.scala.html. This is very important because this is really a Scala file. In here, the first thing we need to put are the parameters of this template. These parameters are actually Scala code. Every Scala code in a template must start with an at. So let's put at, and now let's put the parameters. They are contacts, which are of type list of contact. This is the way that generics are used in Scala. Now we need to inherit from main template. The first parameter is the title of this page, which is list of contacts, and the second one will be the HTML. In this case, in the HTML, we will put a table with all of the contacts. The header will have the name, the email, and the phone, and in the body of this table, what we're going to put is a line for each of the contacts that we have in the list. For that, we're using the for expression from Scala. As it's Scala code, we're going to first put the at, and we're going to say, for each contact in contacts, the following is going to be done. For each one of them, we're going to print a TR. This TR will have several TDs. The first one will show the contact.name, the second one will show the contact email and the third one will show the phone. With this, we're already showing the table. The last thing we're going to add is an anchor that will link to the create new contact page. For that, let's add this and it will link to create new contact. Now, the question is, what should we put in the href? We're going to use exactly the same roots class that we used in the redirect. So we're using at because this is Scala code roots dot agenda dot new contact as that's the page with the form. And with that, we have finished this template. Now we can use this template from the agenda controller. In here, let's put in the OK the name of the HTML template that we're going to use. Here, that template that we wrote has been compiled and now we can access it through the package named views. So it will be views.html.list.render. This render receives a list of contacts as a parameter. Those are the parameters that we put in the template. So let's send this. And now it compiles and we are returning this HTML to the user. I will leave the template of the show action as a homework. Now we will do the template for the new contact page. Now let's create a template for the new contact action. We're going to create for this the new file. This template, as the other one, the first thing we need to put here is the parameter. In this case, it will be a form of type contact. Now, in order to create forms, 
In Scala templates, we can use some helpers that Play have created. In order to use those helpers, we need to import them. So how do we import them? This is the way. Then we need to inherit from main again. The title of this page is new contact and in here we're going to put the HTML. Here we will use the form helper. This form receives the URL that we will going to use here. In this case it will be roots.agenda.createContact. Inside this form we're going to put all of the inputs that we need the user to fill. So we're going to put an input text for what? For the contact form sub name. And then we're going to add one of these for email and one for phone as well. After this, all we need is the button to submit this. This will be an input type submit value submit. With this, we have finished this template. Now, let's use this from the controller. Let's come here and let's render this form. For this, we're going to do the same. Views.html.newContact.render and we're going to send the contact form as a parameter. We have taken all of the information that we had and we learned a way of displaying that to the user of our web app. So, now you'll be able to create HTML pages using models information. Next, we're going to see the app running.